Hello, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? It's cold. <laughs> it's like minus two here right now. I don't know what that is in the United States. It's like in the 20s or something. I don't know. But oh my God. There's frost everywhere. My car is frozen solid. <laughs> So, God, why do you guys always feel like you're so far away from me? Oh, because you are. Oh, is that better? I think that's better. Uh, okay, I think that's better. Hi! <laughs> uh, so, I just thought I'd touch paste. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I forgot to bring my coffee in. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Okay, I thought I would touch base with you guys um, and kind of show you, like I, I'm amping up for the next craft fair for next weekend. I've got this weekend off. I, You know, I had all week to make stuff for the craft fair and I feel like I've got nothing done. I've been sitting and crocheting every day, all day, and I feel like I've had nothing done. Ugh. So, anyway, I did get some things done, but not as much as I wanted. So, this weekend, I'm going to buckle down and I'm going to just get on it. You guys are, like, so crooked. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm sitting here in the sweater that Petra from Petra's Happy Place made me. Um, the I'm wearing the hell out of this sweater, you guys. Like this, this sweater is my go-to. I wear it all year round. I kid you not, all year round. <laughs> I love this sweater so much. It's so comfy, cozy. And it's just, oh, love it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Petra. <laughs> Miss you. <laughs> um. Okay, so... I figure, well, okay, let me get this out of the way first. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Sleep pattern still all wonky because of the shift change. No, time change. So George is beginning up at like 4 a.m. It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so <clears throat> it's like being jet lagged, right? <clears throat> For those of you that don't watch my movie marquee challenge videos, I wanted to show this to you. Uh, this month was um, Twilight. Team Jacob all the way. Um, so I went with the wolf theme. Okay. I decided for this challenge I was going to make a baby sweater. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love this. And I put some fur on it. Oh, I just love this. This is a bag a day pattern with some tweaks. Um, it was the ugly Christmas sweater, I think it was called. Um, but I, I tweaked it. I put the fur on it and I did. Did she do? She did a different kind, like front post, back post. I did front post, back post. I think she did double crochet front post, double crochet front post, I think. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I made that and then I thought, well, it's got to have a hat with it. <sighs> you guys, <laughs> I just, I made this up. <laughs> There's no pattern. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Oh, and then you put it with the sweater. I mean, how cute is that, you guys? Like, you can't tell me that's not cute. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I've got that ready for the craft fair. I have a feeling this one's going to go real fast. <sighs> it is newborn to three months, I believe. So, there's that. The yarn I used for that, of course. I'm, I do all my baby sweaters in Heartland now because I just love it. It's soft. It's easy to use. It's a thinner weight than I'm used to and my hands cramp up, but it's so worth it. 
So it's Heartland, and this is Sequoia. It's actually darker than that. It's like that. And then Heartland, um, I keep wanting to call this wheat, but it's Grand Canyon. So I used those two for that outfit. Ah, oh, yeah. I'll leave the link to the um, tutorial for uh, for Crystal's tutorial down below. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. I'll put that take that out of the way. Um. Also, I have been. What have I been? I've been, <laughs> I've been going crazy. Uh, I've been kind of doing like one scooty a day and then one hat, beanie hat a day, a, a day, you know, a scooty and then a beanie, a scooty and a beanie. That's what I'm trying to do so I can get up both stocks. Um, <clears throat> it's not going very well, <laughs> but, <laughs> but. Uh, I did get one done one and I gotta say thank you so much to all of you that have gone to my Etsy page and bought my Scooty pattern I thank you from the bottom of my heart if you have any problems with the pattern please email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com and I'll try to help you the best I can it's a very easy pattern um, it does start with a foundationless double crochet row um, and if you don't know how to do a foundationless double crochet, I think I have a video, a tutorial on my channel. I think. If not, I do have it in some of my videos. Because <clears throat> i that's pretty much what I, I don't do chains. I just do foundationless double crochets or single crochets or half doubles. So I start, I did this one. Okay. Now, oops, I put baubles. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. I put bauble rows in that. Once you get the pattern down, you can do whatever stitches you want. Um, I've done cluster stitches, bauble stitches, uh, the double crochet crisscross stitch. Um, I've done a lot of different stitches over the years. So, yeah, this uh, doing the bobble stitch on this one probably wasn't the greatest idea because it's such a busy yarn anyway. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, and this yarn is a discontinued yarn. I am I'm using up as much of my stash as I possibly can. Um because it's older stash. I've got all of my variegated thicker yarns on this wall that you guys never see. Um, so I'm trying to get through. I'm doing my scooties and all that yarn to try and get rid of all this yarn. Okay, so this is Premier Brushed, Mega Brushed, which they don't make anymore. So I don't even know why I bother showing you. <laughs> Uh, just in case somebody has this in their stash. I remember videos of people that do have this in their stash and they didn't know what to do with it. Scooty! Yeah. Um, the color of this is... I can't even see it. Not even close. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, no. Anyway, it doesn't matter because it's discontinued. So, whoa, okay, things are falling off my table. Oh, geez. Ah, yep, things are falling. Oh, okay, so that's what I used, but you can use any any size weight for this pattern. I, I suggest that you use a four and up. If you use a four weight yarn, then you use a, a smaller hook because you want, um, for th for thinner yarns, you want the stitch to be, more closed so I would use like a 5 or 5.5 .5. it'll take you a little bit longer but that's okay if you're using a bigger yarn then you can use a bigger hook um, I go right up to a size 8 millimeter uh, hook so yeah 
Okay. Then I bought a pattern that I've been wanting to buy for a long time, but I just couldn't paying $7 for a beanie pattern. Just, mm, I had a really hard time with that. So I just didn't buy it. And I've been looking at it for a couple of years now. And I was just going, oh man, every time she posts on her Facebook page, I'm just like, oh, it's so pretty. So I finally bit the bullet because I'm changing. Um, I was talking to Gary about this actually, when I saw him at the craft fair, I'm going to completely revamp my stock. But after this craft fair, if I have any beanies left, I'm sending them to Goodwill. Uh, and I'm going to completely restock with like maybe two or three different patterns. And that's it. Uh, different patterns in different colors. So this is the one I chose. And I figured, you know what? If I'm going to be using this pattern a lot, then I'm going to spend the money for it. She's got a few patterns that I would love to have. <sighs> this pattern is by Miss B's Crochet. I'm sure you guys have all seen them. Ta-da! Um, I'm absolutely in love with this. I'm not in love with the brim. I've never liked doing this kind of a brim. Uh, but for me, um, this could be worn as a slouchy and a beanie just by flipping up the brim. So I thought, okay, you know what? Let's do it. So I just find that this takes forever. You know, it's all single crochets, right? In the back loop. And <clears throat> so, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, it's done from the bottom up, which another thing I don't do normally, I usually go from the top down. So I'd be learning things. So, okay. So the nice thing about this is you can't see the fault line. Oh, a little bit only because of the color change right there. Um, but really, you can't see much of the fault line. Um, she does an invisible double crochet at the begin, at, like at the end of the row on one of the rounds. But what I started, I had, a, uh, I posted this in the crochet uh, or the Miss B's crochet site, community site. And a lady said to me that she really likes the pattern, but she can't get her fault line to stay straight. You're not going to. You can hide it as much as you can. <clears throat> so I tried to explain to her what I did um, to try and minimize the fault line. But like I said, if, if that color change right there hadn't happened, you probably wouldn't have even seen it. I It's just because I know it's there. So, but anyway... I absolutely love this pattern. Um, it's basically a three row repeat. And then at the top, you have to do decrease rows or whatever. But other than that, it's an easy peasy pattern that I know I will make lots of them. Lots of them. I'm going to start doing some in white. <clears throat> but I really like the black and the two tone. Um, so I got these pom-poms off Amazon. They're blue and purple. These ones are blue and purple, but they come in a pack with different colors. Like the other ones, like purple, green, and yellow and blue or something. Um, but this is the only one I had of this color. And I figured it went perfectly with this hat because it doesn't matter which way you turn the hat. It goes with it. I did do a, a re, removable um, pom-pom. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I don't usually put pom-poms on my stuff because I just hate doing it. Until I found this video, I'll see if I can find it again and I'll put it down below of how you can put the pom-poms on. The concern for me is, okay, these pom-poms are the ones with the elastics on them. Um, I think with the next one, I'm going to attach a piece of yarn to it, to the elastic, and then put the yarn through and tie it to the button because the, I tried pulling the, I could probably still do it, but pulling the, um, elastic through and putting it over here, it was really tight, which is a good thing for a pom pom, but I'm thinking about the customer, right? Trying to get this off is going to be a pain in the butt and trying to put it back on is, this is why I don't put pom poms on my stuff. Most people, if you, unless you actually crochet or whatever, don't have a crochet hook that you can pull the stuff through. Um, some people don't have darning needles so that you can put the yarn through, right? So when you take it off and you go and wash it, how do you get the pom-pom back on if you're not a crafter? So, but, you know, I was like, okay, it just looks so, it looks better with a pom-pom. So I did it. <clears throat> um, I made another one with a black pom-pom. Just a plain black pom-pom. But this one is a snap. The snap is the way to go um, because that way it's easy for the customer uh, to just pop it on and off. Um, you pay a little bit more for them on Amazon, but you know what? They are so worth it. So worth it. Uh, this one, it almost looks like it's a bit smaller. I think it is. I don't know what I did. Um, well, maybe it's not. Uh, but yeah, so there's the other one. Let's see if we can find the fault line. Oh, is that it there? Yeah, that's it there. But again, it's the color changes, right? But yeah, I mean, the... I just love this pattern. I really do. Uh, I actually, I had one of you actually say, I want that hat. Where, where's your next craft fair? I was like, you mean I have, I have more than one yarn to be out there that lives out here <laughs> that lives on my little Island. Oh, that's awesome. So, um, I would love to meet you. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, considering, you know, another Yarnaby wants one of my hats. That's, that's pretty, ha that makes me very happy. So I'm going to mess around with this and, um, try using different colors of yarn and stuff. The yarn I used, of course, everybody's saying, oh, is that Mandela or whatever? It's like, nope. Sweet roll vivid. Premiere. Yep. Um, this color is Dragonfly. I'm going to do it in the lava, lava, lava stone, lava rock, lava something, lava lamp. I'm going to try it in the lava lamp. I think it's going to look gorgeous. But I have a feeling that this is going to be the big seller at the craft fair. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous yarn. And I don't know, I know that there's another yarn out there that's the similar colors and I'm, I can't remember what it is, but I think that's the yarn that, um, Miss B used in her hats. I can't remember what it is. You guys probably screaming it at me, <clears throat> but anyway, this pattern is well worth it. Well worth it. Um, I encourage you to go to her channel or to her Etsy. I will leave that down below and go get, 
some of her patterns because she the the color schemes that she does is just amazing so yeah i mean black makes everything pop uh but i really want to try making different colors and see what happens so oh uh one more this is the hats uh, or these are the hats that i was wearing at the craft fair um a lot of people were saying i like that hat i want that hat <laughs> it's like you're not getting my hat forget it so i got george to make up a few more uh he's going to make up some more um as well but uh these are yes these are the snaps as well um gotta say I don't like sewing at all I don't like sewing snaps on but I think that's gonna look really cute and hopefully hopefully they will sell so um I think that's it I'm I'm in the process of making another scooty right now um I don't have it don't have the yarn um, but I will come back in a couple days and show you what else I've made. Okay. So that would be it. I love you all. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and thank you so much for all your compliments about my hair. Like I've gotten a lot of compliments about my hair. I'm, I'm starting to get used to it. I really need to color it because this, this has got to go. This is like not happening. This is, look at this. That's ridiculous. Um, I'm starting to get used to it. It's starting to calm down now. So yeah, it's, uh, but she, she cut the crown out of my hair, you know, like, uh, there's no, it's no, oh, yeah. You hairdressers out there know what I'm talking about. Um, I was a hairdresser for a few years and yeah, that was the one thing we got taught. Do not cut the crown out of a woman's hair. So, <clears throat> oh, well, getting over it. <laughs> okay. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.